Hello everyone, so I wanted to tell you a little bit more today about something that I hinted at in the last video. I mentioned the words pattern recognition. Now this might seem a bit strange, it might not be something that anybody has spoken to you um, either in mathematics or anything else about, but in fact for me MAM1000 is really a course, of course, about you know, many areas of mathematics, but really about pattern recognition. What I mean by that is that over the course of this year, you will build up a toolkit. You'll build up a mathematical toolkit which will allow you to solve lots and lots of problems. You'll be able to solve uh, problems about integration, about differentiation, about differential equations, complex numbers, linear algebra, all of these sorts of things. So we're building up this toolkit which gives you ways to tackle problems. But if you look at a problem and you don't know which tool to use, then you're stuck. So what we really want to do is to build a set of skills, not only with the tools themselves, but with the idea that when you look at a problem, you can understand exactly the tools that you're going to use. Okay? So I wanted to run through a few different problems and just give you some intuition as to, way, to the way that I think you should be thinking about these things. One thing that I need to point out is that this, first, this, um, uh, diff this uh, inequality that we spoke about last time, I actually wrote it incorrectly. So the very first line, I had a plus three, and some of you noticed that actually it should have been a minus three. When I factored it, it should have been minus three there. Okay, so what do we see when we, we look at an equation like this, or an inequality like this? Well, we see a quadratic, okay? We see an absolute value, and we see that it's an inequality, okay? So what do, we, what do we think about here? Well, the first thing we might think about is, here's a quadratic equation, or here's a quadratic expression. What can I do with that? What are the things that I know in mathematics that deal with quadratics? Okay, well the answer is I can factorize it, I can find the factors of this, and I can write it in a factorized form. Okay, in this case x plus 3, x minus 1. Is that right? No, x minus 3, x plus 1. Okay, so I can look at this and I can go, what are the, the mathematical tools that I know to tackle an expression like this? Okay, what else do I see? I see an absolute value expression here. What do I know about this? Well, I know that given an absolute value expression, I can think about it in terms of a piecewise function. Okay. What do you do there? Well, once you've done that, once you've thought about the quadratic, once you've thought about the absolute value, then we can start thinking about the inequality. And with inequalities, there are certain properties that we know hold for inequalities, and we can apply those rules to the expressions that you get in order to solve this. For instance, we know that with an inequality, if we add the same thing to both sides, the inequality holds. If we multiply both sides by a positive number, the inequality still holds. If we multiply the, the inequality by a negative number, we know that the inequality sign goes from, mine, from less than to greater than. Okay, so there are certain things that we can use to manipulate this expression to try and solve. All we're trying to do is to find the values of x which solve this. Okay. How about another sort of question? So in this week's tutorial, you were asked to plot this function. Okay. It's a rational function, we've got a polynomial on the top, we've got a polynomial on the bottom, and again, we, we think of polynomials. Here it's actually a cubic, so it's a little bit harder, but by inspection we can work out that um, x equals, or in minus 3, is a root of this, and so we can factor this, we can take out a, a factor of x plus 3 from the top, and this is just a quadratic, and we can factorize that. What do we then think? Well, we think, okay, if we've, factored, if we've taken out a factor of x plus 3 from this, how can we extract a factor? Well, we can use polynomial long division. So we can write the whole thing then as a linear term, a quadratic term, and two linear terms on the bottom. Okay? And we can then write this whole thing as a factored rational function. Okay? What do we then ask? Well, we have to then ask about the properties of this particular rational function. We need to ask when is the function zero, we need to, under, we need to ask when is it undefined, we need to ask what, where is it positive and negative. Okay? That starts to give you a bit of a picture about what's going on. But what we're really doing here again is pattern recognition. We're looking at this and going, what mathematical tools can we use for this? Well, we can factorize, we can do polynomial long division, and then we can ask about the relationship between the overall expression that we get when we do polynomial long division and the asymptotes. Okay? So we end up with uh, maybe an oblique asymptote or a, a horizontal asymptote, um, and we can ask, does the, does the function ever cross the asymptote? So we're building up little pieces of information as we go. Okay. 
How about this? We've got a, a question. Show that this function, h of x, which is f of x plus f of minus x, for any function f of x, is an odd function. Okay? Well, how do we do this? Well, we, we need to recognize that we know something about odd functions. Okay? We know something about odd functions. We know that for odd functions, um, if we've got h of x, which is an odd function, we know that h of x is related to h of minus x with a minus sign. So we know that h of x is equal to minus h of minus x. Okay? Given that information, we want to prove that this is an odd function. What do we need to do? Well, we need to ask about what is h of minus x and see the relationship between h of minus x and h of x. Okay? So throughout this course, what we're going to be doing is adding tools to this mathematical toolkit. At the moment, we've played around with a few, a few different new tools that you might not have seen before. And as we go on to calculus, as we look at limits, continuity, finally differentiation, we'll start to build up more and more tools. And then I would say that when we go on to things like differential equations, that's really the time that you start to spot patterns. You, you'll see when we go on to different differential equations that there are different types. You need to spot the pattern. You need to say, what type of differential equation is this? What are the mathematical tools that I've built up that I can apply to this problem? Why is this important? Why do we care about pattern recognition? Particularly, why do we care about plotting rational functions? Okay. Well, it might be that actually you, you never care about plotting a rational function. But what we're doing here is we're building a set of skills for you. We're building a set of mathematical tools, but more importantly, we're building a set of skills which allows you to take a problem, which you might never have seen before, apply your skills of pattern recognition, and work out what are the techniques that you need to apply to it. Okay? This is a skill which goes far beyond mathematics. In general, problems in, in any sphere of work or any sphere of study in academia is going to be really about this. It's going to be, here is a problem, here are the tools that I have. How do I apply the tools that I have to this problem? The first thing to do is to notice the patterns within your problem and to, to work out what are the appropriate tools that you need to apply to it. Okay? So as we go through MAM 1000, this is something that I want you to keep in mind. I want you to be thinking, Okay, this is this, the new tool that I'm adding to this problem, and these are the types of problems to, to my toolkit, and these are the types of problems that I can now tackle with this sort of uh, with this sort of technique. Okay, so think about it as you go through the course, and hopefully you will start to build up that toolkit and start to build up those skills of pattern recognition as you go along. Okay, very good. I will leave it for, there for now, and I will see you all soon. Okay, bye bye.